This is a chicken coop that hasn't had any chickens in it for about three years that we want to turn into a she shed. So it's got some deep sawdust and stuff in here that's going to get shoveled out. We're going to keep the shelf. So I'm wearing a mask and gloves. So I have an old broom. I'm going to get the some of the spider webs and stuff that's up high. And, and I got a push broom too and I can Still at it. I've been hauling about three shovelfuls at a time in this basket, old basket. All of these eggs were in with the sawdust and clay and chicken manure. So they're all over three years old, or about three years old. They're extremely light, but I don't know if I want to open one and see if they still stink or not. They just keep popping up. I'm getting curious. I want to break one open. I ended up with 11 eggs that are at least three years old. And I'm going to break one open because I'm curious to know if it would still stink. So, here goes. It's really lightweight, like maybe there's nothing inside. Oh, not much. Well, it doesn't stink like a couple month old egg. That's really dry. No, it doesn't smell at all. So when I'm finished sweeping, it should all look like that. The carpeting has been taken out and there's still quite a bit of stuff along the edges especially that I'm going to scrape out as best I can and then get a bucket of water and get down there and scrub it. And those nails, uh, staples will have to get taken out or pounded in. Now, if I had this whole thing to do over, and probably you'll only do it once in your life, if that, what I would do different is not get it wet until I got every speck of stuff off that I could. Whether scraping or vacuuming or whatever. This is the really bad corner. It was hard to get out when it was dry before I got it wet, and it was hard to get out when it was wet, but it, it seems to be coming out pretty much easier now. It was might be still a little bit damp. I'm pulling out the staples, and then I'll sweep again. So, I got some cleaning stuff and a bucket of water and some rags to wipe things down a bit. For the bottom part, I'm using a broom with a bucket of water. Because I'm old and I'm not going to get down there. I might not get back up. So I scraped all these ledges up high and I'm now getting the rest of the chicken manure off and washing about down to the windowsill um, a little bit, just what needs it. 
over there is pretty bad. So I'm getting ready to wash it again. And I'll need the scrub brush in some places. I know there's still some clay. And then it'll have to dry before I get to put the primer on it. One small window left to do. The best thing for cleaning windows is hot water. That's the secret, especially if you're cleaning plexiglass or something. Hot water will get it really good. I have a little scrub brush here to get some of the edges. I use it on the door too. Of course, if you were going to have chickens in here, you wouldn't be using all these chemicals. You'd probably use vinegar to clean it. But there aren't going to be chickens in here ever again. So the door is done. And one window. I haven't done the screen to it yet. So after I wash it, I'm trying to get most of that water up. I might take some dry rags and go over it too and get it and sort of dry faster. So here it is after it's clean. Now I've been painting. I'm almost done painting. And then except the floor. I'm gonna paint the floor. So here it is, clean and painted. The owner's attic has been robbed to get some neat stuff to hang in her she shed. So, that's the next thing. Decorate. Okay, let's see what she looks like. We still need some curtains. Definitely need some curtains. And maybe a few little things. But it's basically finished. So inside, we have a coffee pot and some snacks. Put a lamp and some pictures up. The big table that used to have the nesting boxes on it will be great for jigsaw puzzles or crafts. Here's some more pictures out of the attic. And another lamp. rocking chair, a beautiful crocheted rug that the owner made. She made those doilies too under the coffee pot and every place. And another rocking chair. This one's even older, I think. It's a beautiful, beautiful rocking chair. Another lamp. Some little bears. <laughs> 